welcome back and this is a uh, review of this this hair okay guys um this hair is 613 blonde it was blonde um this is with piranha silver with piranha smoky silver and black off black um dye um uh, I, I can't think of one and only i think i'm not sure i'm gonna put it in somewhere but yeah i did the roots of the um frontal this is um two 16s 18 and a 16 inch frontal i just washed this hair last night and i used the um uh, so I made one ahead of time. Matrix, Biolage, um, Hydra Source, Shampoo, and also mixed in, I have uh, with this Matrix, Biolage, Color Care Shampoo, was generic from Sally's. So I put those two in the water and just got my wig and just dipped it in there and really worked on the edges because I had a lot of, um, you know, got to be um, glue on that, on that part. So cleaned that off. Um, and then I let it sit in. I found, I found this in my bathroom. I was just like, oh my God, I remember this. The Suave Moroccan Infused um, Deep Conditioner Mask, I mean, Shine Mask. And I had like a regular bottle too, so I just mixed these two together. I wanted it to sit a little bit longer, but I wanted to film this week, so I just went ahead and um, used that and got this turnout. Now, I got a lot of shedding. Um, I gotta show you my brush, but I got a lot of shedding um, with this this hair I have been getting a lot of shedding I was over at my cousin house and I was sitting there and I was just moving the hair around my neck and like I had like this big ball like right in the back and I was like oh my god what's going on I couldn't get my fingers through like, see now I got it through because I used that conditioner um, but it was like I had like hair just coming out it wasn't a lot it was like three or four strands but it was like through the couple of hours that I was there it was still like come still coming out like three or four strands just coming out and then when I see it's like one just came out um, when I washed this hair and then I conditioned it and then when I um, I separated the hair in like um, like four sections and left the back out so that it can air dry all of this can air dry overnight and then I um, curl it in the morning with like I think a one and a half um, curling iron by um, golden hot yeah golden hot um, curling iron and you know I brushed out the um, section as I you know curled or whatever I got a lot of fallout from from that on my brush and then I um, curled it and styled it and I put a little bit of oil in my hand and worked it through the hair so right now the back of my hair isn't as tangly but I think the most of the trouble that I'm having is with that that bundle in the back because after I dyed it and I was trying to make the color look a little bit more closer to the color in the front it um I used a Wella toner on it and it went crazy when I did that and then you know I washed it out and then I started to sew the you know the hair on or whatever and I felt like since then it would feel like I, don't, I had so much problem with those tracks in the back because it like crunched up on me but once I used this conditioner everything was fine like I, I feel a little bit better about what, what I got going on but it's like right here it wants to tangle so much in that back and the shedding isn't like like oh my god like when it's dry but I feel like after I wash this hair it feels a lot better because what I did when I first get, uh, first got it, I just flat ironed it straight. It just, it needed, I think it was, it was an, an intense need of being washed because of all the oil. I put coconut oil in it too. So I feel like it was a lot of oil in it and it just needed to be washed and get it clean state. 
So I'm gonna show you my, so this is all the hair that was in that brush. Yeah, I got a lot of fallout when I um, was brushing it out. So this is what I got from that one wash from um, with this hair. Now, by the way, I did cut some of my wefts, especially the 18 going up top. Um, but I'm not mad about this at all because I've had hair that it was much more than this. It was a humongous ball of hair. It's, I just think that this hair needed to be conditioned and taken care of. A little baby-ish from, you know, because when you have 613 blonde, it's been highly lifted and then you're adding color on top of it or other um, chemicals and stuff. I just think it needed love. It needed, like, love. Because I, this is the first time me washing it since I made the wig and I made the wig, like, I think a couple weeks ago, so I haven't watched it since I um, first put the color and everything into it. So I this time it just did a good old wash, shampoo and all. Cause some curly hair that I have, I don't really shampoo that. I just um, co-wash it. But this is, you know, got a good washing. Got some of that more of that dye out and conditioner really made this hair feel a lot, a lot better in a good place. Um, just doing all of that hair, hair in my hands. I've got like short piece of hair and somewhat kind of short piece right up in there but it's it's not when it's dry I'm not getting a ton of shedding but I'm gonna keep you know washing every two weeks and stuff and I will show you if I whatever um hair that is in my brush if I'm getting a lot of um shedding because when it first when I first had it on it was just so dry and and everything I just wanted to wear it for like a week and then I did add so much oil to it and it just I just it needed to be washed so this is me checking in with you and um as of right now I'm loving this hair where I'm at right now right now but um if anything changes I will be back to tell you more you know about this hair I don't like it or not but this is my f second time having 613 blonde hair the first time it was a front with another company but um, yeah I, and I'm really digging this color and the dimension of color throughout it the whole lavender you know tints of black in the front but kind of brown you know I'm digging it yeah let's get the shoulders so bye till next time thank you for watching